Okay, so uh, we're going to do a sheep's eye dissection, and before we do that, let's go over a few uh, of the things you might see in your picture here. Uh, first, we have a set of uh, tweezers or forceps. We use those to pick up anything uh, we need to or pull things apart. And then we have uh, scissors. Scissors are actually much better than scalpels. Uh, scalpels sometimes get a little too bulky and in the way, and scissors, we can use the, the fine tip end of the scissors to cut things open. Okay, now this on the bottom here, this yellow part that you see, this is all wax and the wax is really useful when we're sticking pins inside of our uh, dissection tray so that they stick into the tray. Okay. So here's our sheep's eye and you can see that it's uh, it's quite white. It's got a lot of stuff around it. Okay. And we're going to be cutting a lot of that stuff off. We don't really need that. Actually, if you take a really close look in here, you can start to see one of the parts that we need to label. And that's kind of cool that you can see it in there. That's a good one. Okay, so starting with the outside here. Uh, this out, outside covering of the eye, which you can barely kind of make out here, this is called the uh, cornea. And just inside there you can very, very uh, barely see the uh, the iris. Okay, that's the colored part of the eye. On the back here, we have all this extra muscle. We don't really need this muscle, so we're going to cut some of it off. This is especially muscle here too. And this muscle is uh, actually used to, uh, to move the eye. Okay, so let's cut some of this off. Okay, uh, we've cut some, most, some of it off. We don't need to cut off too much on this one. This is a pretty good one. But right here, right here, is actually the optic nerve. Okay? And it's, of course, the, uh, the main nerve coming from the eye that transmits signals from the eye to the brain. So that's right there. Okay, Full of nervous fibers and bundles. Now we're going to open up the eye. Not too much we need to take a look at on the outside. We're going to do this just by slowly uh, making a small poke inside here. We want to do that gently without getting too much of the eye to uh, be punctured. Okay. Try this side here. We're going to try and get inside the eye here so we can cut it in half. When we cut it in half, we're going to want a front side and a back side. Again, I'm using the tips of my scissors, not the back part, not like paper scissors. And as soon as I cut in here, you notice there's a whole bunch of fluid that comes out. Okay. That's the uh, aqueous humor. And what that does is it actually maintains eye pressure. It allows your eye to stay in the nice big round shape that it is. Because a, uh, a liquid is much harder to compress than, uh, than a gas. And so because the eye is full of liquid, it doesn't, uh, doesn't collapse in on itself. If you, go, if you ever go under water, uh, your eye would be squished because of all the water pressure. As we start to cut this, you should you might notice that it uh, starts to open up a little bit and it's quite dark inside. Okay, so here's the inside of the eye. And the first thing you'll notice right away is the gooey part right here. That's the, uh, the vitreous humor. Okay? That's the part that actually maintains the eye. We don't actually need that. So we're going to just go ahead and wipe that off. Okay. Now, in doing this, well, what we're going to be looking for is a few parts here. First, we're looking at the iris. And that, well, actually not the iris. Look at the, let's look at the back. This is the retina. This part right back here, this thin layer of skin, that's our retina. And it's actually connected right to our optic nerve, so we can go ahead and pinch that and pull it off. Okay, that can come right off. That's our retina. And on the back here, this very shiny layer, okay, we don't have these in our eyes. Okay, but this back layer here is called the tapetum lucidum. And this actually allows a little bit of light to be reflected off of it. 
and this nice beautiful blue, the light reflects off of it and it allows the animal to see a little bit better in the dark. If we wanted to, we could take that layer off too. Okay, that's that back layer, the blue one. This part here, this is our lens. Okay, and it's actually quite hard, it's not squishy. And it's very hard and if you cut it open, you see a whole bunch of white fibers. It's not actually full of a fluid. And it's quite, diff uh, quite uh, tough and it's just as tough in our eyes too. And if you look very closely around here, you can kind of see this mushroom-like. Can I see it in the light there? Those mushroom-like ridges, that's part of the, the muscles that control the size of the lens. So when they stretch the lens out, they allow the lens to see further or uh, closer. And then just on the other side, if I pop this off, you can do a little bit of investigating here, you'll be able to see the, the iris. So let's see if we can do that. Okay, so there's my iris right there. You can see the colored part of the eye with the hole being the pupil. And then of course in my hand still here, the clear part, that's the cornea. Okay, so that's pretty much the sheep's eye dissection in a very quick six and a half minutes or so. Um, that's it, that's all you need to know.